Mike Pence, the 48th Vice President of the United States, has been a political figure since the last two decades. Born and raised in Columbus, Indiana, Pence is a, quote, principled conservative in his own words. Pence was the 50th governor of Indiana and is best known for his conservative political positions on abortion, sex education, and LGBT rights. Mike Pence went to Hanover College and later Indiana University Robert H. McKinney School of Law, after which he started a private practice as an attorney. He lost his first two congressional campaigns in 1988 and 90, after which he ventured in the media space until 2000 when he finally won the congressional campaign. While Pence's political views are widely known, he's relatively quiet about other matters. Unlike in the case of President Donald Trump, not much is known about Pence's personal life. Let's go over some interesting facts about his personal life that you may not have come across before. Facts First presents The Intriguing Personal Life of Mike Pence. If you enjoy these facts about Mike Pence, please like and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos with more interesting, fun facts. The Pence family was in the gas station business. Pence was born and raised in Columbus, Indiana, in a family of six children. Mike Pence's parents, Anne Jane and Edward Joseph Pence Jr., ran a group of gas stations. His father was a celebrated veteran of the Korean War, and Pence proudly displays the bronze medal and commendation letter in his office. He's Christian. Pence openly accepts that he's Christian, and faith plays a big role in his life. On his personal website, his favorite book is listed as the Holy Bible. Pence has never shied away from the obvious link between his religious beliefs and political agendas. His Christian beliefs are evident even in his political opinions and policies. His opposition to same-sex marriage, his repeal of the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy, and his opposition to abortion. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the bell icon if you want us to keep you updated about all our latest uploads. He works hard on his marriage. Mike Pence married his future wife, Karen Pence, at the St. Thomas Aquinas Church. They dated for nine months, became engaged in 1984, and got married in 85. The couple has been together for over three decades now, and there's a reason why their marriage has remained rock solid. Both Karen and Mike follow a very strict set of rules that guide their marriage. For instance, when Karen isn't around, Pence does not attend parties where alcohol flows freely. Similarly, he never dines alone with women. Well, given how controversies erupt during presidential campaigns, it's a good thing Mike Pence is staying extra careful. More importantly, it's rather sweet he does these things to make his wife feel loved and important. His wife was an elementary school teacher. Pence's wife, Karen, was an elementary school teacher for about 25 years before she quit to take the role of Indiana's first lady. She holds a BS and an MS in elementary education from Butler University. As first lady of Indiana, she established the Indiana First Ladies Charitable Foundation, which aims to help families and youth across the state. Karen is also an award-winning watercolor artist, and as Second Lady of the United States, she's working to raise awareness about art therapy. In line with this, she has conducted many programs across countries around the world. He was a radio talk show host. Today, it's no secret Mike Pence is an effective orator, but a lot of his skill can be traced back to his media experience. In 1988, Rushville, Indiana's WRCR-FM radio station roped in Pence to host the show Washington Update with Mike Pence, a weekly half-hour show. This was just after Pence's first congressional campaign, in which he ran against Philip Sharp and lost. Later, in 92, he started hosting The Mike Pence Show, a daily show on the same radio station. By 1994, the show became a statewide phenomenon, reaching 18 stations. In 1995, Pence decided to expand beyond radio, and he started hosting a TV morning show. The Mike Pence Show ended in 1999 when Pence decided to focus on the 2000 congressional campaign. There's little doubt that the show's popularity and reach did much to boost his image. He almost got into the news business. In 2015, when Pence was the governor of Indiana, he was considering establishing a state-run news service in the state. The Just In website was ridiculed with fervor, with many comparing it with state-run media in China and North Korea. Naturally, Pence was quick to pull the plug on it after a week's deliberation. Moreover, he went on to dissociate from the idea altogether, considering the flack it received. Pence also assured the state's press release system and the state calendar would be updated instead. He once accidentally hit a kid who later demanded an apology. In 2017, as part of the National Military Spouse Appreciation Day celebrations, Mike and his wife, Karen, organized a dinner for military families at the White House. Everything was going well. However, towards the end of the evening, Pence became quite excited while giving the appreciation speech and extended his right arm a little too far and accidentally hit a kid. 
Though the kid stayed quiet and let Vice President Pence complete his speech, he approached him later and told the Vice President he owed him an apology. What a brave kid, and of course, Pence apologized. His favorite superhero is Superman. Be it a politician or an average Joe, everyone loves superheroes, and almost all of us have a favorite since childhood. On Pence's personal website, his favorite superhero is listed as Superman. There are other interesting tidbits on the site as well, including his favorite colors, blue and gold, and ice cream, moose tracks. He loves The Wizard of Oz. Surprisingly, Pence's favorite movie is The Wizard of Oz. Apparently, the vice president enjoys the American musical fantasy film, which is regarded as one of the best of all time. While the movie is an American classic, it's hard to imagine the Pences sitting together with a popcorn on a Saturday night and enjoying it. On the other hand, Pence is definitely not a fan of the animated film Mulan. Back when Pence was a radio talk show host, he wrote an op-ed stating Mulan was liberal propaganda and argued against the point of women in the military. He once changed a bill to please the LGBT community. As the governor of Indiana, Pence signed the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. This decision drew great criticism from the LGBT community, as well as various other quarters of society, as people thought the law would give freedom to businesses to discriminate against the LGBT community. Thus, Pence made several revisions to the bill to ensure the LGBT community was not at risk. Mike Pence originally supported Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Pence wasn't always keen on becoming Trump's running mate. He was actually supporting Ted Cruz, the senator from Texas, since 2013. However, he's a smart politician, and he maintained a friendly camaraderie with Trump since the very beginning. In fact, in 2016, Pence publicly praised Trump's decision to speak against Carrier, the air conditioning manufacturing company, for closing facilities in Indianapolis and shifting jobs to Mexico. He has some controversies to his credit. Though Pence is quite careful around women, it turns out he's not that cautious around money. During his 1990 campaign, a young Mike Pence found himself in the middle of a huge controversy when it came to light he had used close to $12,000 from his campaign money to fund personal expenses, such as his monthly mortgage and his wife's car loan payment. Though using campaign money was not illegal at the time, it was definitely a setback to his image. Mike was on his way to victory, but due to this one scandal, he lost by a significant margin. He lost twice before finally winning his first election in 2000. After graduating from Hanover College with a bachelor's degree in history, Pence decided to move to Indianapolis and pursue a degree in law from Indiana University McKinney School of Law. He received his JD in 1986 and began practicing law. However, Pence had always been inclined towards politics. So in 1988, he ran against Democratic candidate Philip Sharp, but lost the election. Pence once again filed his nomination in 1990. This time, he quit his job to focus solely on the campaign. However, his candidature became mired in controversy and he lost the election to Sharp once again. Pence finally got lucky in 2000. He was elected to Congress and represented Indiana's 2nd and 6th congressional districts between 2001 and 2013. He's an animal lover. After Trump won the election, for the first time in over a hundred years, the White House had a president who didn't have a dog. However, Mike Pence more than makes up for Trump's lack of love for animals. The current VP is a big animal lover. He in particular has a special liking for cats. The Pence family has two cats named Pickle and Aria. Unfortunately, Aria breathed his last breath in 2017. After that, Pence's wife and daughter brought him a puppy, who they named Harley, and a kitten, who they named Hazel. However, Pence's most famous pet is his bunny named Marlon Bundo. Pence's pet rabbit is actually a social media celebrity and is known as Botus, Bunny of the United States, on Instagram. He has a son and two daughters. Mike and Karen have a son, Michael, and two daughters, Charlotte and Audrey. Michael, the eldest of the three, has completed Marine Corps basic training. First Lieutenant Michael Pence was one of seven naval aviators to receive wings of gold at the Naval Air Station Meridian, Mississippi in 2018. The elder daughter, Charlotte Pence Bond, is a writer, while the youngest, Audrey Pence, is a law student at Yale. Audrey has a penchant for writing, but she chose to follow in her father's footsteps with a law career. Those were a few expected and unexpected facts about the intriguing personal life of Mike Pence. Did we miss any interesting ones? If yes, please leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos on more interesting facts.